honored guest. Good afternoon to all, all of you. So, the speech topic today for me is entrepreneurship. Is it for you? So, how many entrepreneurs in this room? How many of you have started your own business? We have two. Okay. So, many of you probably have thought of starting business. So, how many of you have thought of starting business? Wow. So, this is going to be pretty interesting piece for you guys then. About myself, I have never done any entrepreneurship. In fact, I have never sold anything to anybody, <laughs> including those Boy Scout cookies and popcorn. I have never sold anything to anybody. But last few years, I've been thinking that maybe I should start something on site, uh, some entrepreneurship. And the most mo motivating factor was obviously the friends and families who are entrepreneurs and have much better financial condition than myself. So that, that has been the motivation for me. And for, for many of you also, the motivation factor is maybe you want to become your own boss or you want to improve your financial status and be able to afford uh, bigger and better things. Therefore, I, I thought, obviously I'm an academic guy, so I thought let's take this uh, class called Foundations of Entrepreneurship. And right, right now I'm taking a class called Foundations of Entrepreneurship in, in university. <coughs> So I'm about a half, half, halfway through in the class. And the learning so far has been pretty interesting. As a part of the course, I, I interviewed two entrepreneurs and also listened to about four other entrepreneurs. And all are from different walks of life. One is uh, doing gas station business, the other one is uh, doing staffing business, and the other one was in internet security. Our teacher had done many, many uh, entrepreneurship himself, including restaurant and so on. So all are from different walk of life, different businesses, different backgrounds, and they don't know each other. And when I listened to them, it was so amazing for me that all of them said exactly the same thing, same basic thing. I even asked one of them, hey, did you read the same book that you are saying, saying the same things? So they, they did not, I mean, they did not read any book and most of them did not have master's degree and so on. But they all said the same thing. So I'm going to say the common thing they, they said, the common points they made. First thing is, do not do entrepreneurship if you are not really passionate about the opportunity. Because if you are not passionate about the opportunity, then somebody who is more passionate about that business will take you over even if he has less money, less talent, less education, less resources than you. So that was the first thing. And second thing was do not think small. It is the opportunity which, which should drive the business, not the other way around. And if you think that, oh, I have $50,000 and I want to invest and I'll start something small with $50,000, most likely you will just lose that $50,000. So if, the idea, if your idea is good, then you should try to raise money, whatever it takes, to, to make that idea happen. So do not think big, think small. And the third thing, Everybody said, well, before even you enter the business, think about exit strategy. When you will get out of that business. As I said, the passion is important, but you cannot retain the passion indefinitely. So at certain point of time, you will lose the passion in the business, and somebody else who has more passion will kick you out of business. Right? So, <clears throat> it's better to get out of the business when you are on top. So these are the th three things they said. And now I compare those, those things, and all, of course they said many other things also, but these were the th three things com common to all of them. And when I compare 
those things with my own situation, I come to conclusion that I'm not ready to do entrepreneurship, right? <laughs> and that's a good thing. I probably would have invested like set aside fifty, sixty thousand dollars and set, do some small thing and just end up losing that money and create more trouble for for myself. So probably this taking this course has saved me a lot of trouble and some money. And other thing we we the course talk was the entrepreneurship is started by mainly due to two reasons. One is necessity and other is opportunity, right? So then there's definitely a necessity to to uh, to start an entrepreneurship. But I hope that doesn't happen and I would start up, uh, entrepreneurship when there is a right opportunity which is matching with my passion and I can really concentrate on that. So I hope that that works out for you all also. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters.